Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Israel. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Roberto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Maria Leticia. Hello, Andres. Are you driving? Gilberto, welcome. No, teacher, I am here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Danny, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Let's see who else is here. Okay, who else is here? Gabriela, hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How is everybody doing today? Are we energetic? Are we tired? Are we excited that it's the weekend? No, it's not the weekend yet. <laughs> We want the weekend to be, right? But it's not there yet. Okay. Well, I have a question for you today to start our class. And well, you know that um, in the, well, let's say, in the U.S., today they are celebrating, what are they celebrating? Thanksgiving. That's right. They are celebrating Thanksgiving. Let me see. Who has been to the U.S.? Have you been to the U.S.? Yes, teacher. I remember mm -hmm. I, I was traveling to... In the state three years ago, and uh -huh. I had opportunity to celebrate Thanksgiving with my family. Really, it's very nice holidays. Uh huh. Okay. Great. And what did you eat? What is a typical dish for Thanksgiving? Robert? Okay, the typical food for for that day is is turkey, and and all family had a meeting in, in different in different houses and they ate turkey mm -hmm. by by apple um mashed, po mashed potato uh -huh. and i remember uh was drink i remember is Drinks is uh, coffee, soda, and ah, punch. drinks. Mm -hmm. Drinks, punch. Did you like? Did you like the food? Yes, it's delicious. Okay, great. Who else has been to the U.S. and experienced Thanksgiving? Oh, 
only uh, no no not me okay thank you rodrigo well thank you roberto for sharing your experience with thanksgiving yes actually in my case i had the chance to be as a student twice and I have experienced around Thanksgiving around three times. And that is one of my favorite traditional foods from the US. Uh, it's, yeah, as, as Roberto said, it's, it's I mean, they, they make really delicious food for today's holiday. Okay, so in honor to that, that holiday, which is, um, I'm, I'm aware that is not ours, but I think, the the idea of being uh thankful and grateful is is good so i have this question let me let me share here i don't know if you can hear the dog in my in my background but there is a dog barking okay here is the question what are you grateful for Okay, so to start our class today, I, I would like you to share what you are grateful for. Who wants to start? Well, I'm going to start and then if somebody else wants to share, you're welcome. In my case, I'm grateful for, especially for my family, my daughter, my husband, and also for my job, well, my jobs, because I have around three jobs. <laughs> um, and well, I know that sometimes we feel tired, but it's good to have a job. And also I'm grateful for my, um, my education, because with education, you can do whatever you want to do so those are the three things i'm grateful for okay let's see do we have some someone who wants to share me teacher okay okay in my case i i'm grateful for different things um mm -hmm. first i i grateful with god for giving me the lies for giving me my family for mm -hmm. give me um my job and and right now for giving me to the opportunity to study English uh, with in support uh, and with E4CC mm -hmm. uh, for that reason uh, I am very grateful with God and and other thing is for giving me how do you say saludable healthy uh, for my health because mm -hmm. right now I am very healthy uh, for that reason I I am very grateful with God this is my my opinion about the question excellent thank you Roberto anybody else who wants to share what you are grateful for Andres go ahead good evening teacher and good evening Bless my. Well, in my case, I am grateful for my family first, of course, for the life because we have life. Mm -hmm. I am grateful because I have a beautiful daughter and a beautiful son. I am grateful for because for my wife. And, and, and a little bit for my job. <laughs> that is possible for that. Next year, I change my job because I don't have enough time for I can spend with my family. So, <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm grateful for my job, yes, because my job gave me the possibilities for I can, um, for I can earn money. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I, I'm laughing because you said I'm a little bit grateful for my job. <laughs> yeah, I have to check because in my case, I, no, I don't have enough time. To spend. I can spend my family and I think that yeah. we can spend time with our family. Exactly, that's true. I totally agree with you in that sense. We we need to have we need to have a job, but we also need to spend time with our family. 
if you get an opportunity where you can have your job and you can have your family, like you can enjoy your family, that's better, of course. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, Andres. Thank you, Lorenzo. Uh, I know that maybe some of you are thinking about what you are grateful for, but you don't want to share any so um Alberto, you wanna share? Go ahead. Yes, teacher, I grateful for my family uh, and my God, verdad? Mm -hmm. I grateful for my job uh, and in the country. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm grateful for my two songs and my daughter is beautiful. Okay. I I happy I, I am happy for the I like sal, la salud que tengo, ¿verdad? No sé cómo salud. I'm I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my health. Yes, health. Health. Right. Okay, teacher. Health. Mm -hmm. Only that. For the, for the cashew seeds, Don Gilberto. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, <laughs> my joke. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are, you are, uh, you, you love the cashew seed. Uh, I work on cashew seed. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, teacher. That's why the uh, is your joke. Okay, yes. thank you, Gilberto, for sharing. Um, well, um, I hope one day you can experience. If you haven't experienced this holiday, it's beautiful. So, um, I'll, it's part of our experiences, right? It's life experiences. Okay, well. Now, let's see what we are doing for today. Um, actually, today we are focusing on, okay, we're going to be first um, reading. Remember yesterday I shared the link in the, in the WhatsApp group. I shared the link to the reading and we're going to work with that reading today. Uh, for I hope the first part of our class and the second half of the class we will be focusing on a, a forum uh, that you guys will prepare well it's like a presentation kind of uh, but well in a forum you know that people exchange it's like a conversation they have right you have a topic in in and it's like you have different experts, right? And these experts are giving opinions about a specific topic. Um, there are, well, I hope to make groups of three. So we will have two experts and one moderator, let's say, okay? So the second part of the class will focus on preparing for the forum and of course, delivering the forum, okay? But first, we need to learn a bit more about pricing. Remember yesterday we talked about that, um, different pricing strategies. So we will do that, okay? And uh, let me share the screen for... Um, for us to, to go over the... the reading just give me one second because i don't know where it went oh here okay so this is the article okay here we go Okay, so this is the, the article, pricing in four. So there is a little introduction, okay? And then we have some subtopics. 
Remember yesterday uh, we started our class with this question, why is pricing important? And some of you were giving me some reasons. Then we watched the video also, right? And uh, here we have like some reasons why pricing is important. Then there is another subtopic, pricing objectives, okay? Uh, and you have a um, list of pricing objectives, like why we, we put a price on, or why do we decide on a specific price for a product, basically. And then we have types of pricing strategies. These are a lot actually, well, cost plus. And then we have another subtopic, which is how to price. So the article is long, but we are going to, um, I'm going to assign, okay. I don't know what's going on here with my computer. Okay, I'm going to assign a, some parts of this article to, well, let me see how many of you are today, how many of you are here participating. We have Gabriela, Gilberto, Jose Andres, Jose Israel, Julio, Maria Leticia. Okay. Um, Rebecca is a listener, I think. Um, or Sophia. Well, um, the idea is that we work um, first on uh, checking new, new vocabulary from the article. Well, first we're going to read it, okay? We're going to take turns reading some of this information, not everything because it's very long. Um, let me see. Okay, we're going to read this one, this part. Why is it important? And also um, the pricing strategies, okay? Types of pricing strategies. These two, these two subtopics we're going to focus on, okay? Why is pricing important and types of pricing strategies? Okay, so we're going to read the part of why it is important aloud, okay? We're going to do the reading aloud practice with this subtopic, with this part. Why is it, why is it important? Okay, and then uh, I'm going to assign um, some of you to um, check some specific phrases from um, this part and also the second part, which is types of pricing strategies, okay? I will give you probably three words to each of you so you can look them up and provide a little explanation to the words you found or the definitions you found, okay? But right now, let's start uh, reading aloud, okay? Um, so we, we start with why is pricing important? Okay, uh, let's see who is the first one here. Okay, we start with Danny. Danny, can you please help uh, help us with this first part, the the introduction here? It is often. Okay, teacher. Uh, why is pricing important? Mm -hmm. Did you have a tendency for marketing focus more? on activities like promotion, product development, and market research while producing their responsi responsibility. These, these are often perceived as the more interesting aspect of the product and marketing mix. Whoever pricing needs to be given its due attention since it has great great impact on the rest of the activities and the company. Pricing is of vital importance because of the follower reason. Okay, very good. So this is the introduction, right? And um, 
let me see some okay andres i need you to practice some words that we have in this in this uh, paragraph give me one second uh okay let's practice the word marketers marketers, marketers. Mm -hmm. uh then prioritizing 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 the next one is perceived perceived um next great great Great. Okay, good. Let's continue with the first reason. Okay, here in the introduction, uh, we are saying that pricing is of vital importance because of the following reasons. So this is the first reason why pricing is important. Okay, and we are going to continue with Gabriela. Let's read this first reason, Gabriela. Mm. I don't know. Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Gabriela, please. The piercing as. Yes, like pricing as a flexible variable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Pricing change can be made quickly and with almost no lead time if the business 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 need to make some product positioning change or to or to counter uh competitors activities in comparison a change to the product product or to distribution channel can take months and sometimes significant cost inputs. Similarly, any promotion decision will also require additional financial input. So, so uh, it's, it is important to plan for pricing and change and the impact on the brand and the product perception. This can still be accomplished uh, much faster than any other change. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's practice pronunciation for, okay, let's just start with this, um, Let's see, let's see, significant cost inputs. Um, okay, this one, require. 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 Mm -hmm. require financial input. Financial inputs. Input. Financial. 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 Mm -hmm. Financial and, input. Yes, and now in this case, you can make it um, together. It, though it is important, though it is though, mm -hmm. though it is important, mm -hmm. plan though mm -hmm. though 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 mm -hmm. though yes though mm -hmm. though though it is important yes okay um let's see another one here accomplished accomplish accomplish Yes, accomplished. A with accomplished. Excellent. Okay, very good. Okay, now let's read the second reason. Okay, remember we are re we are reading reasons why pricing is important, right? So um, later I will ask you to check the vocabulary, okay? I will assign some phrases that we uh, you will need to look up and then explain. Okay, let's read the second reason. This time we're going to have, let me see, Jose Israel. 
Yes, teacher. Which one? The, sec the, the second reason, this one. Ah. Define the right pricing. Any pricing decision for a product needs to be made through proper research, strategic objectives for the organization and the product. A decision made too quickly with superficial assessment can result in a loss of revenue. A revenue. A price below the, the perceived value can lead to both a loss in potential additional revenue and a target audience that judge the quality of the brand through price points. If this price is raised later on, the existing customers may feel like they are being unfairly burdened. A mm -hmm. price set too high can result in potential buyers staying away altogether. Pricing is often done by a team of, of experts who spend time conducting research that considers all vari variables, variables of the market and brand. Variables. Okay. Yes, excellent. Very good. Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to, I, I need to close some things here because I'm not, sometimes I don't hear you guys very well because, because I, maybe because I have too many things open. Okay, good. So this is the second reason, define the right pricing, right? Not too high, not too low. Okay, uh, the third reason, pricing as a trigger for first impressions. Gilberto, can you please go ahead? Okay, teacher, pricing as a trigger for the first impression. Mm -hmm. In some product categories and consumer will form and perception about it's a quality and relevance and soon, and they see the price. Eventually, the decision to buy or not may be based in the person value of the entire products or marketing mix offering bags. There is an always danger that the fair impression free direct by the price point will either make it the rest and the offering real irrelevance, or it will be biased assessment. A biased assessment, okay. A Thank biased you. assessment. Yes. Okay, let's practice some words, Alberto, from this paragraph. Let's start with this one, trigger. 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 I'm sorry, I'm having, I'm having issues today with my computer or my connection, I don't know. Um, okay, next one, categories. Categories. Category. Mm -hmm. Category. Consumer. Cons consumer. 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 Mm -hmm. um, let's see, entire. 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 Okay, um, let's see. And the last one that we practiced already biased assessment. Bias assessment. Bias assessment. Biased assessment. Assess Bias assessment. <clears throat> assessment. Okay. Assessment. Very good. Okay, let's move on. And now we're going to check the fourth reason for pricing to be important. And I'm going to ask Maria Leticia, please help me with this. Okay, I'm sorry, this is the- This pricing as, okay. Yes, yeah. okay. pricing as a key to sales promotions. Mm -hmm. Pricing is a key to sales promotion. Sales promotion are often a short time price by said offering such as a percentage reduction or a two 
in one side offer. These are means to generate interest in the product or make use of a special occasion or event. You said wisely, this can be a useful method or increasing sales, but the company must avoid the tem tem temptation <laughs> temptation 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 the temptation to offer the special price to often in this scenario scenario buyer buyers will put off purchasing the product till the next sales promotion of price reduction okay thank you um okay let's look at some words that we need to pronounce um okay uh, let's see make use of a special occasion okay. occasion occasion mm -hmm. or event or, or event or event event occasion. event mm -hmm. occasion or event yes <clears throat> now in this case we say used wisely Use, use wisely. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Increasing. Increasing. Okay. Increasing sales. Increasing sales. sales. Mm -hmm. And this one is temptation. Temptation. Mm -hmm. Temptation. Temptation. Mm, let's see. Buyers will put off purchasing, purchasing, oh, purchasing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. The next is an, of price reduction. Price reduction. Reduction. Mm -hmm. Price reduction. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think those are the four reasons for pricing to be important. We have a pricing as a flexible variable, define the right pricing, pricing as a trigger for first impressions, pricing as a key to sales promotions. Okay, so now let's see. We have also types of pricing strategies. And here we have, let me see how many. We have um, one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. Now, uh, right now, we are going to focus a little bit on the vocabulary from this first part that we just read. Okay, uh, so I'm going to give each of you at least one word that you need to look up and then share the definition and, if possible, an example. Okay, so we're going to start with, let me see. Um, product positioning, okay? Product positioning. I'm going to be writing it in the, in the chat and I'm going to be saying who is going to have that word, okay? So we start with Danny, who is the one in the list. In the, the first one in the list, I mean. Okay, product positioning. Then, um, let's see. Um, cost inputs. Cost input, this is for Gabriela. Cost inputs. Okay. Please check the chat. I'm, I'm writing it there. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, 
uh, another one that we have here is counter okay counter this is for gilberto counter Okay, um, let's see. Okay, loss of revenue. Well, let's talk about revenue first. Revenue. This will be for Jose Andres. Revenue. Okay, let's see another one. Um, Bardent. Bardent. This is for Israel. Bartend. Remember, I need you to look for the definition and also uh, an example in this context, okay? The context of um, pricing. Okay, let's move on to the second. Um, okay, trigger. Trigger is for Julio. Are you participating, Julio? Julio? I'm here, please. Hmm? Uh, ah. <laughs> okay, so I, I, I assign one word for you. Okay. Um, let's see, the other one is biased assessment. Biased assessment. This is for Maria Leticia. Biased assessment. Okay. Um, let's see. Interest in the growth may use sufficient wisely. This is not a technical word, it's a generic word, but just in case we don't know it, Mauricio. Okay, your word is nicely, sorry, wisely. The next one is for, okay, I don't know if Rebecca is a listener today. Let me check, I don't remember. Yes, she's a listener. Okay, so Roberto, the next one is for you. Let's see. Um, purchasing or purchase. Okay. Who else is here? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Price reduction. 
Okay, we don't have any other work from here, but let me see. Mm, assessment. Oops, se me fue ahí el signo. Okay, and let me see. We have Rodrigo and who else? Rolando and Sofia. Rolando, are you participating? Rolando? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. teacher. What about Sofia? Yes, teacher. Ah, great. Okay, so I think I missed some here. Okay, yours is financial input. Um, okay, Orlando. Financial input. And the one for Sophia will be product perception. Product perception. Okay, so everybody has a word or a phrase that is related to pricing. And um, well, I know that I, mean, I the ones that I assigned first probably already have it, but I will give um three minutes for for you to look it up, okay? Look for a definition, a, a synonym, and also try to use it in an example, okay? In an, in an example sentence uh, related, of course, to the same topic, right? Pricing, because most of these words are technical terms that we use in this context, right? So let's try to use them in, in the same context. So we have three minutes, but if you have it ready, you can share. But let me let me set up the timer here. Okay, so does anybody have it ready? You can start sharing while your classmates are working on their their word. Okay, when you are ready, you can share. Teacher. Okay, Julio. Sorry, I don't listen to uh, the concept for me. Ah, it's here in the chat. Um, Thank you. Let's see, trigger it. Okay, trigger thank it. you. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to, the, to say, uh, to talk about the definition and one and an example. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Actually, the word, I mean, the, that is the conjugated verb, um, um, Julio. The, ver the verb, the verb, the verb in base form, sorry, is trigger. Trigger. Like this trigger. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. Teacher, so we have to say like the meaning in one example of the word that you tell us. Yes, please. Okay, I have my definition. Uh huh. Re -ve revenue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Revenue for me is like if we say that the errors that some company or place have of money, and we have some synonyms like mm -hmm. earnings 
income, gain, increase in. Okay. And one of example of a sentences, in one of example of a sentences, using this word, uh, the factory lost revenue because of the strike by the workers. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Just let's practice the pronunciation. Revenue. 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 Okay. Yes. Perfect. Revenue. Okay. okay. Very good. So um, just for your classmates to take notes, can you please share in the chat the synonym? Some of the synonyms like revenue, you said income, earnings, right? In earnings. Gain, mm -hmm. increasing. Okay, teacher, I'm going to do it. Thank you. Okay, who else is ready? Me, teacher. Roberto, okay. Okay, uh, the word is purchase, purchasing. Purchasing okay. in, in the context, uh, I, I read the following, buyers, <laughs> will be will put off purchasing the product till the next sales promotion or price reduction mm -hmm. uh, okay uh, the means of purchasing is when a uh, uh, some person buy buy something or or any product um, mm -hmm. in the in the synonymous is for example buy or, or get get the product uh mm -hmm. this is the this is this is my my opinion about the this word or chase mm -hmm. yes the synonym is buy right buy can you write it in the chat please purchase synonym of buy okay okay teacher mm -hmm. very good uh, and let's practice the pronunciation, Roberto. Purchase. 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 That Purchase. is the verb in the base form. And the one, the word that you have is with ing. So we say purchasing. Purchasing. Okay. okay. Purchase and purchasing. Mm -hmm. Purchasing. Okay. Rodrigo is ready. Rodrigo, do, would you like to read your example? Your your word? Okay, the mine is assessment. It's a kind of evaluation and applying in terms of pricing are some factors to be reviewed, like market condition, customer preference, cost, uh, financing, etc. Okay, so assessment is a synonym of evaluation, right? In general. And you can use it in different contexts. Like in this context, you have the example there. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, who else is ready? Me, Pisa. Okay, Julio. Okay. Uh, the in definition of trigger. Trigger. Uh, in general mm -hmm. terms, uh, a trigger is something that initiates a particular action, process, or series of events. Uh, example, uh, the sound of the alarm clock is the trigger that wakes me up every morning. Okay, very good. Yes, very good example. Now, if we want to use this word in the context of pricing or find like economic context. Ah, sorry, teacher. Uh, uh, let me. The example uh, is good. It's good, but let's try to use it this way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, don't worry. Take your time, Julio. I'm going to pass attendance while everybody is getting ready. Okay. Um, and then we continue with sharing your examples. 
Okay, so let's start checking attendance. Let me see. Okay, Danny Anthony, si buen aventura. Present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Ríos. Present teacher. Y José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Present teacher. José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Israel, are you there? Okay. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Let's see, Julio. Julio Arisides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. Lady Joanna Hernandez Ventura. She says she will not be attending today. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Here. Eh, um, María Leticia Realejeño González. Present teacher. Mauricio Curuca Velázquez. Present teacher. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Mm. As a listener. Eh, Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Present teacher. Y Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadillo. Present teacher. Okay, so now let's continue. Um, let's see, here we have from Gilberto, counter competitors. Is face and face the other company, for example, lower prices, in quality and good service. Okay, so when you counter competitors is that you face them, right? You confront them, that is another thing, you know, confront them. Right, Gilberto? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, I think yesterday we talked about this because it was in the conversation, remember? And I gave you another phrase, which is deal with. Deal with. That is another synonym. Deal, deal with. with. Deal with. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see uh, who else is ready, who is missing? Ah, Julio, you, you wanted to share your example? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. the, increase, uh, the increase in the raw material cost serves as the, tri uh, the trigger of uh, for the company to adjust the pricing of its products to maintain profitability. Okay. Can you please repeat it? Because it's very long and I couldn't get some, some words. Okay, okay. Uh, the, increase, the increase in a raw, in raw material costs serve as the trigger for the company to adjust, to adjust uh, the pricing of his products to maintain profitability. Okay, very good. The increase of raw materials served as the trigger for, for the company to adjust, right? Yeah. Adjust costs yeah. to maintain profitability. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. We have Maria Leticia here in the chat. Biased assessment. Okay. Would you like to, to share, Maria Leticia? What? I mean, would you like to talk about your example? No. You don't have an example. <laughs> me falta, me falta. Ah, okay, okay. 
Okay, but I'm going to read what you have here. It says an assessment is considered biased when one, remember assessment is evaluation, right? This is what Rodrigo had. And this is in this case, biased assessment. But what is a biased assessment? It's considered biased when one group's scores are significantly different and have greater predictive validity than another group. Most test biases are considered cultural, I think it says cultural biases. A skewed result means that the estimate is unreliable or possibly even meaningless because we can generalize that statistic to the population of interest. Okay, this is a very technical definition that Leticia has shared here. But in other words, when we say biased, it means that it is not reliable, that we cannot trust that assessment, okay? Um, like you have, imagine that uh, you have assessed um, the process of a product and um, the, you missed a step in the process. So that assessment is not uh, reliable anymore. You cannot trust it because you did not, you didn't follow the right process, the correct process, right? So you missed a step. So in that case, the results of the evaluation assessment are biased. It means that they aren't reliable, okay? I don't know if everybody got my, my idea of biased assessment. Yes. Is it clear? Not too much, teacher. If you could explain it with another example, maybe, please. Okay, okay. Um, well, I was saying that it's a synonym of not reliable. When something is biased, in this case, we're talking about biased assessment, right? If, okay, let's say that um, you are evaluating the quality of, I don't know, let's say the process of making t-shirts, okay? Okay, so you are, you are assessing how, how good the quality of this t-shirt is. And for that, for, for assessing, or for evaluating that process, that it, I mean, you need to take steps, right? Imagine there is a process of five steps and you miss one or even two of those steps in the process, right? So in that case, the results of this assessment or the results of this evaluation are not going to be trustful, okay? because you didn't follow the right process. Or in another context, for example, um, I could say, I could give you an example, like me as a teacher, uh, giving grades to students, right? Because that is also, I mean, we use this word in education as well, assessment as a synonym of evaluation. So, Okay, in, in my context as a teacher, I can say, ah, um, I like Danny a lot, but I don't like Julio, okay? So I'm going to give Danny a 10 and I'm going to give Julio a five because I don't like him, okay? So in that case, I am not being objective. I am not my, my results, the grades, that I give Danny and the grade that I give um, Julio are not, uh, they are biased, okay? They are biased, they are not objective, they are not uh, trustful because um, I didn't follow the correct process to grade them. I just said, I like this person or I don't like this person, so. It's like, I'm not objective. My results are not objective. I don't know if that was a clearer example. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay. Well, um, Leticia, were you going to share something else? Or not? Oh, no. Okay. Is, is the concept clear for you, Leticia, with my examples? Um, no, realmente. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Yeah. I ahorita permítame. No, say what you were going to say. ¿Qué nos iba a decir? Oh. Este es que había encontrado algo, pero mm, no sé, es como no sé si es recomendación o ¿O es algo que está diciendo sobre cómo detectar si ha existido un sesgo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero... Ok. Yes. Uh, what I said about your definition is that it's very... Uh, your definition is very technical, is very academic, right? So sometimes... Uh, we can find definitions that are even more difficult to understand than the word we are looking for, right? Um, so that's why I try to give you a different, uh, a different example, something that is more common to understand. So I'm going to write it here, maybe just for everybody to catch it, okay? So... Let me write it here. An evaluation where, this is very simple. An evaluation where the results cannot be trusted because the process was not followed correctly. Okay, example, um, let's see, um, the perception, okay, when companies base their product price, on buyer's perception, they are making a biased assessment of, they are making a biased assessment of the situation, okay? So, this is my example. When companies base their product price, let me call capital P. When companies base their product price on buyer's perception, they are making a biased assessment of the situation. Okay, so meaning that uh, when we say, for example, ah, I think that the 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 client or the buyer um, will pay $10 for this t-shirt, okay? So it's biased because you don't have any evidence to say that they will pay $10 for your t-shirt, right? So it's like we are just following our corazonada and not exactly following the right strategies or the right process to um, establish a price, okay? So, well, let's let's move on because we still have a few of you who have not participated or shared their idea there. Rolando, you wanna go ahead? Yes, teacher. This is uh, uh, this is a definition, my definition about the financial input. Okay. You fine. can go to the bank for a, a deposit in the bank accounts. 
a lot of people go to the banks, a lot, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. the, the bank cashiers receive the money at the financial input uh, account. Okay. Um, I'm not sure I got your definition, Rolando. Uh, so, my definition. Yes. My definition is a uh, a uh, uh, a deposit in the bank. Ah, okay. So financial input is basically money that you deposit in the bank. Ah, uh, okay. No, I'm asking you <laughs> based on your uh, definition. Yeah, my definition is a, a deposit in the bank. Uh, okay. The financial input. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we can say that financial input financial. is the money we deposit in the bank. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Uh, who else is missing? Mauricio, Gabriela, did you share yours? Sofia? Hi, teacher. Hi. My term, I don't know, input cost is the, 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 the mm -hmm. two words. Mm -hmm. The is uh, or refer to the expensive incurred in the order to create a product or service. Uh, this cost is typically include the raw materials, labor, labor, sorry, utilities, and other heads, amongst others, and that directly used in the product process. This cost are important factor in determining the price of a product or service is the all cost the product okay <laughs> okay um so from your definition i understood that input cost would be everything that includes everything that it uh, whatever uh, you do to create the product right like for example the raw materials yes teacher is the all other cost incurred via business related the to general and administrative activities in the the process of the product the create to the product Okay. Everything that includes, okay, everything that is related to creating and also administering the product. Because you also mentioned administration, right? Administering the product. Okay. Okay, great. Let's see, um, Mauricio, did you participate already? Okay, I see we have Sophia in the chat. Product perception is the way that someone thinks and feels about a product and isn't the same as the actual or real or objective quality of the product because the perception is subjective and could be changed from customer to customer. Mm -hmm. For example, my perception about the thriller is different from another person. Maybe to another is a good product, but I think I never waste my money in these movies. Ah, okay, very good. So yes, perception is basically what you think, right? What you feel about something. In this case, we're talking about how the, cons the consumers see the product, right? Okay, let's see. 
Everybody participated or are we missing someone? Mm. Ah, yes, Mauricio, wisely. In Israel, yours, burdened. Yes, teacher. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you look up your word? Yes. Okay. What is your what is your definition? What did you find? Well, according to Google dictionary, uh -huh. burden burden means low heavily and also a hardship or distress. Well, uh, an example. Uh, let's see. Um, on Thanksgiving, all the store uh, are full of burden clients. I mean, uh, talking about distress or hardship to to buy something. Okay. Well, I would say that mostly. Who is burdened is not the clients, it's the the clerks. The clerks. At the, uh. at the store because they, there are too many people and they feel burdened, you know, uh, trying to keep up with so many people trying to buy something. Right? Like the like the girls who sells donut and Mr. Donut in mm. on September. Exactly. <laughs> That's a very good example. Yes, they they are really burdened in September because so many people trying to buy donuts. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, well, that is like in general, right? In the context of a pricing in this case, like when the client or when the customer feels burdened, is when like you in, you keep increasing the price and increasing the price right so customers feel burdened by the price for example i would say now in el salvador the basic goods are going higher and higher and how do you feel well everybody feels burdened by the price of the basic goods, right? You go to the supermarket, maybe you used to, to spend $100 and now you gotta spend 125 or 130, right? So, okay. Um, I think we are only missing Mauricio with your word. I don't know if you're going to participate. Your word was wisely. Okay, I guess not. Well, um, now we have the second part of this reading, which is about um, pricing strategies. But I think um, we are going to skip this part for now because it's already 9.15. And I'm going to give you some time for you to prepare the forum, okay? because um, it's important that we, now that we have checked many words, many more words related to pricing, plus the ones we already discussed in previous classes, that we put them together into a conversation. In the conversation is the form of a forum, okay? Remember I explained at the beginning? So I'm going to make groups of three, and one of you is the moderator. Okay, the other two are the, the, the experts, okay? So, okay, let me write the instructions here in the chat. So, number one, choose a moderator and, oops, two, sorry, and two experts, in, okay, two marketing experts, okay? Two marketing experts. 
So that is the first thing. Number two, a think of a scenario. Think of a scenario where the price of a product needs to be decided. Okay. And discuss um, why pricing is important based on the reading and based on the reading and um, the conversation ah and video we watch a video from last class remember yesterday we watched a video okay um so these are the three the three steps okay now let me make the groups. Okay. Um. So we're going to work in groups of three. Okay. Um, Initially, let's try to take um, around from five to eight minutes to set up the roles in the scenario, okay? And then um, we're going to have some time to practice, but try to practice as spontaneously as you can, okay? Uh, you can say, for example, okay, so I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about this, uh, but try to do it spontaneously, okay? Without writing your conversation. It's, it's, um, this is the format of a forum. So that's why we have a moderator who will be like asking questions. Uh, and the other two people are going to be providing their opinions based on the questions. Mm, what you can have ready are the questions, okay? And then based on the questions, you start answering and giving like a, practicing with the information we have discussed, but don't try to write everything that you're going to say, okay? Because it's going to take more time and what we want is to have a spontaneous conversation, okay? So probably the questions, yes, but the rest, let's do it spontaneously, okay? So see you in the rooms.
Ay. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. For example, we have to decide the price of a problem. Tenemos que como pensar en un producto y, y, y como debatir acerca de qué precio va a tener. Yes, in your case, uh, well, I have added Danny, but I think he has issues with internet because he left the meeting. So um, right now it's only you two. So there is no moderator in this case. You can ask each other questions. Um, so you, you are both the experts and the moderators because you are going to be asking uh, the questions as well. Is that clear? I we choose one product and we we are questioned about this the, the this product but about your cost. It costs. yes. Uh huh. You need to you need to discuss um why putting a price. Uh, according to the information we have already discussed, right? Like you can go back to the article, for example, and, and check why is pricing important. So you can mention like some of the, for example, imagine that your product is, a. Um, um, let me see. Your product is a cell phone, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, you and Andres says, "Oh, I think our cell phone is one of the best in the market. So let's give it the price of five hundred dollars." And and then you say, "Gabriela, mm, but let's pre first we need to check the characteristics of this cell phone. Is this the camera?" Etc. How it, how the quality is compared, how fast it is compared to the competitors' cell phones, and so on. So, I need you to use the information that we have checked together from the video yesterday, from the article today, for you to um, provide arguments, okay, about how what you need to include or what you need to think about or consider when setting the price. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. I think Danny is back. Let me see if he can join you. Teacher, so if if we talk about, for example, um, Gabriela and me uh, mm -hmm. talk about discuss about the price of this product, the moderator, what is going to do it? The moderator is going to ask the questions. For example, okay, Danny oh, okay. is here. Let's say that Danny is the moderator. So Danny can say, um, Okay, so we, let's say, our product is ready. Now we need to think about the price. So that is like how we can start. So the first question could be like, okay, what, what price do you think we should give the product? Like that. And then Gabriela and Andres say the price. And then uh, you can say, uh, for example, Danny can say, okay, but why? Why that price? And then you start providing different arguments, okay? Um, so again, okay. uh, my, my instruction is that you try to do it as spontaneously as possible, okay? So let's just start yes. practicing. Okay, see you later. See you, teacher.
a single auxiliary where the price of a product need to, to be decided. Que pensemos en un, en un escenario, dice, donde los precios o un producto se necesita de decidir, ¿verdad? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Yes. Um, so, do you have the rules already established? Who is the moderator? Yes, uh, Israel. Okay. So, in this case, um, well, you already have the, the rules. So, the moderator is going to um, say, okay, we have our product ready. Um, now, let's think of the price. Okay, uh, Gilberto, what price do you think we should give the product? Julio, what, what is your price? And then depending on the product and the price that you guys give, uh, Israel can continue asking questions like, why that price, Gilberto? Why do you think we should give that price to the product, Julio? And then uh, the conversation is to flow in, in terms of the information we have been reading or the one that we watched yesterday, for example, in the video, or also in the conversation that you practiced and created, okay? So all those things are your, let's say your resources uh, for you to provide arguments to say that your price is right or, uh, or not, right? So that's the idea that you have that kind of conversation, provide reasons why this price is good or not good for the product, okay? Okay. Well, I'll leave you to decide because I guess right now you don't have the product, right? So go ahead, continue discussing about the product and then I'll be back later. Okay, see you later. So, um, where are we going to start? Maybe with uh, a background of the... Ya debería de o derecho. Ya vemos. Hello, how are you doing? Here, Hello, teacher. teacher. Try, trying to make him something. Okay, so you have the roles. Rodrigo is the moderator. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you have the product or not yet? Mm, we are uh, talking about it. Okay. Okay, the idea that I'm giving your classmates is that, okay, since Rodrigo is the moderator, right? Uh, he's going to start by, okay, saying, for example, okay, our product is ready. We need to uh, give a price for it or set a price to it, right? And so um, Leticia gives a price and Roberto gives another price. And then you start like uh, talking about why in your case, Leticia, why you think your price is right. And Roberto Carlos, why your price is right. Uh, but your 
um, fundament for arguing for your argument needs to be based on what we read or what we have been discussing since yesterday. Like for example, yesterday we watched the video and we also had a conversation related to, to price, right? So use all this information to, to give your arguments, why this is the right price or not the right price, okay? That is the idea. Okay. Okay, so if you have it clear, I'll be right back. Y eso era lo que no tenía ninguna, uh -huh. ninguna base de lo que vimos anteriormente. Sí, es que no lo uso en ese. Sí. Hello. Hello, teacher. I had a question, teacher. Uh -huh. I confused the exercise. Okay. A little, a little confused. A little confused, teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. We need, so, we need help. First, okay, we need, okay. who is the moderator? Have you decided that? Uh, Sofia is our moderator. Okay. Sofia is your moderator. So basically, yeah. the scenario is that you have a product, okay? And you need to give it a price. So in this case, Sophia will, can start the conversation by saying, okay, our product is ready. I don't know, you, you need to decide which product, right? So you can say our product is ready. Now we are ready to give it a price or set a price. Uh, so Rolando, what is your price? Or Mauricio, what do you think is the price? And you can give different prices. And then um, you the conversation starts, right? Because you need to say, okay, I think this is the right price because of this and this and that. And Mauricio, well, in my case, I think this is the right price because of this and this. So each of you has an argument and this argument um, of course needs to be based on what we have learned yesterday and today about pricing, okay? Um, so that is the idea that you put into a conversation um, then the information we have been reading or yesterday that we watched the video about uh, pricing, okay? So that's the, the task. Okay, teacher. Is it clear okay. now for everybody? Uh, a little bit clear. <laughs> okay, ask me yes. questions. I think, yes. Okay, okay, well, now you can start asking us, uh, Sophia, about the, the product. And what is your product? Our product is a is a is an, an an hamburger teacher. Ah, hamburger. Okay. Hamburger. Yes. Okay. Good. Yes. So now you're ready to start, like, creating the conversation or, yes, practicing the conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the in the chat in the well I'm going to share it uh, again because last night I I sent you the link to the article that we read today so you can have it handy okay there you have it Check the WhatsApp chat. 
So if you want to review some information from there, you can check it. Okay. Okay, I'll see you later. Let's start practicing. Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sería the second question. What do you think? So, what do you think about the camera? Y entonces, ah, what do you think about the camera? The camera, camera. Okay, what do you think about the camera? Okay. Uh, so in my case, entonces ahí respondería yo. So in my case, I think that the camera is good, but it's not to no, it's not like the cameras of the iPhones or the Samsung because we know that the the creators of this device um, are not enfocated in the camera, more in the device for they can translate the language so we can say that it's good but not excellent camera okay yeah and what do you think hey diría gabriela's opinion what do you think Gary? sorry i have a problem with my dogs where are they <laughs> Es mucho molesta. Son dos pitbull, pero es que sí molesta. Ay, Ay pero espérame. Ay. I think that the that camera is the looks like because uh, the beautiful uh, that camera have the different filters like the beautiful face or zoom or the the blur too uh, is good but um i think that is important to the the pixel the camera too and i don't know uh the, this camera have these things mm. Okay, and uh, the product position is uh, very important in the pricing the new product for the increase uh, sales by the company. Um, and the very good opinion uh, about the price the price of the news how are we doing Hi, teacher. Hello. Here the, in the schools, uh, I praising. Mm -hmm. oh, the, no es moscada, teacher. El, el, but uh, I have... Uh, Mirística. Uh -huh. A question. Uh, uh, what? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Mirística. Uh, don Gilberto uh, say mystical. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the correct. But uh, for me, uh, 
Ok, lo que investigué es, me parece como NoteMec, pero nos ayuda. I'm Yo, sorry, but I didn't get anything. No es moscada, no es moscada. It's, it's our product. What is your product? No es moscada. No es moscada. Ah, no es moscada. Ok. Y que don Gilberto siempre nos sale con sus productos bien, bien exóticos. <laughs> No, uh -huh. yo buscando lo más fácil. Mm, do you think that is easy? Yes. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I have never, well, I, yo sé que es nuez moscada en español, pero en inglés nunca lo he visto. Nutmeg, okay? Nutmeg. En Other K no salió teacher mirística. Mm, no, I don't think so. Va, se so, lo voy a poner yeah, aquí en el because, chat. Not because, not, because not is mm, like nuez. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not milk. Not milk. Do you see it in the chat? Sí lo ven, ¿verdad? Ahí está en el chat. Yes. Este no es moscada, nutmeg. Nutmeg. Uh -huh. So, mirística is like a type of nutmeg. I don't know. I have never heard that word. Really? <laughs> mirística. No. Me either, but it's my first time. <laughs> okay, mirística. Mirística plant. Ah, ok, let me see. Mirística is like a of... Ah, it's the plant. I, I think it is the same, but probably is the, the tree. Remember that tree. sometimes yeah. the tree yeah. Yeah. has a name and the fruit has another name. Probably. Mm -hmm. Ok, let me see. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the the I mean, like nutmeg would be exactly the fruit. Okay, nutmeg. Okay, nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the product. Now, what other difficulty do you have? No, teacher. Uh, I have uh, identified the use and the food and the ring and the price uh, for okay. funds of Ferronigi. Uh, have medicinal uses in case the looks uh, in the stomach uh, the fixture the products. Okay, yes, that's okay. But also think about, um, for example, let's say that you can, I mean, you can say, uh, we're going to set the price of nutmeg let's say $20 a kilo, for example, $20 a kilo of nutmeg. Um, and then Israel, who is the moderator, can say, okay, but what arguments can you give me to say that that is a fair price or that is a, a right price? Well, because it takes, because of the cost input. Remember, we, we have that, term cost input where it includes for example buying the raw material or processing the raw material right uh packaging um i don't know something like that like you need to provide arguments to say that your price is right okay that is the idea Que tengamos argumentos para decir si ese precio está bien o no. Ok. 
Perfect. Okay, you. well, uh, we're almost coming back to the main room. I don't think we're going to finish like sharing your conversations today because we, we will not have enough time, but I will uh, give you one more minute and then everybody's going to come to the main room, okay? Okay. Okay. Don Israel, para aclarar un poco los precios. Creo que sería bueno también los acabados de price de que en acabados de de price another restaurant maybe the another restaurant take a price around the three dollars then ten dollars ten dollars we have a product with a Ten dollars. Mm -hmm. But some place, okay. some place that there are, they have a hamburger for ten dollars. But it's uh the Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, well, I, I could see that most of you were already practicing your conversation, right? Uh, and putting together the arguments for um, your forum-like conversation, okay? Um, well, I'm going to give the chance to one group to pass before we leave today because we don't have enough time for all of you. But tomorrow we are going to start with that, okay? We're going to give the chance to the rest of the groups to share their conversation tomorrow, okay? So this time um, I'm going to take a volunteer group to share their conversation. Aha. Uh -huh. Who wants to volunteer? The group that feels more ready. Chan, 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 chan. No one feels ready. <laughs> no one feels ready. <laughs> Rodrigo, are you ready? <laughs> yes. Yay. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Okay, Rodrigo's group, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to share. Okay. Okay, this is our, <clears throat> our main page. Mm -hmm. In this forum or, on, or in this meeting, we're going to talk about in the price decision for a uh, Little Caesar uh, pizzas. Uh, uh -huh. you are trying to change the price for Little Caesar? Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> no, maybe not change, but the reasons that the price, the actual price is right. Okay. So okay. the first will be Robert and Letty, and myself will be the moderator. Okay, okay. So, uh, 
this in in this in, in this scenario, the following step of the product we are going to talk about. Uh, going to talk is about the pricing stage, where our experts will suggest the best parameters to consider and make the main reason to be the price factor. Mm -hmm. So, in the, they, I, I think taking from the class of yesterday, uh, some points that are, uh, those these are value, audience, and stage business. Mm -hmm. So, uh, case Letty uh, she's going to talk about uh, in in the factor of value okay uh, value this accessibility good good test in media mm -hmm. delivery its value is important because it is very easy to acquire and is low price Mm -hmm. In addition to its pleasant task and its new flowers, mm -hmm. it is worth mentioning that I am a consumer. It can be found in a strategic place okay. and it is best to enjoy at home. Okay. Robert. So, uh, well, as let me say, uh, talk uh, talk about it. Uh, what well, as you know, uh, the well, when you go to a little Caesar, it's because first of all, the price, the accessibility. If mm -hmm. you have five dollars, you mm -hmm. have a pizza. And with that pizza, you can eat uh, two or three, or maybe four people. With one pizza. Mm -hmm. Also, it well is not the best, but have a good taste. As you mm -hmm. know, the, the the main pizzas, uh, ham or pepperoni, the the options, the mm -hmm. the, the economic options. Also, when you go to a little Caesar, you 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 will not take more than ten. 15 minutes if, the, if there, there are may, uh, many uh, much people mm -hmm. uh, that's our the, the for for us that's are the, uh, the the main uh, the reasons of the value okay so, valor, valor agregado. excellent so okay. robert robert will go, uh, he will go, uh, talk about uh, the part of the audience okay Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening. We are talking about little Caesar pizza. Uh, you know the uh, right now there are different brands of pizza. For example, um, Pizza Ha, Papa John, Domino's, and, and other pizzas. But right now we are talking about little Caesar because. Um, uh, this pizza is is good. It's good, really. It's good for me. And in the the topics, the audience is is, is the following. Um, for example, when you need to buy uh some pizza and you you decide buy little Caesar, uh, for that reason, the audience is the following. Uh, this pizza is focused on an audience mostly from the war and the student sector because mm -hmm. it is easy to access and you can say time and money because because if you need to buy a pizza in, in two, you buy in, in Little Caesar for, for example um, you need to or, or you you spend time about three or, or five minutes and this is good because mm -hmm. if you if you you have you have only 30 minutes for lunch or mm -hmm. one hour uh, you 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 can get a a little scissor is is very it's very easy and if you if you eat little scissor you 
you can compare with with other pizzas and your the price is good because five dollar is is very is very cheaper yeah mm -hmm. and the taste is very good uh, for that reason uh the audience for this pizza is a a sector a student in in labor in labor sector okay very good so well the, those are perfect. the all the characteristics of the of this pizza mm -hmm. the, the, the reason of the price and oh. we think it is very accessible for all okay especially when you are short in time or maybe you want to eat something different than the the comida de comedor <laughs> then the daily <laughs> the daily food the daily the daily, the daily food so the you have another mm -hmm. another option economical mm -hmm. and you can say today i'm going to eat a pizza and that's okay. all Perfect. Thank you. Let's clap for Rodrigo, Leticia, and Roberto. Great. I like that you included mo many, many terms from uh, what we read. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank let's you. let's check attendance quickly because I know everybody wants to leave now. So let's start with Danny Anthony Siwensa Ventura. Present teacher. Gilberto Benito Santa María Ríos. Present teacher. José Andrés Martínez Pérez. Present, present, present teacher. José Israel Martínez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Present teacher. You sound so far away. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura, not here today. Uh, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. I'm here. Eh, María Leticia Realejeño González. Present teacher. Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Yes, present teacher. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. She's a listener. Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga. Present teacher. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga. Present teacher. Sofía Karina Crespo Martínez. Sofía, are you there? Okay, the dog. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, Sonia Gabriela. Ah, present okay. teacher, present. Yes, Sonia Gabriela Aguilar Grandadeño. Yesenia, Gabriela, where are you? Teacher, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great evening. And the see rest of the groups. Remember, the rest of the groups will participate tomorrow. So don't forget your conversations. Okay. Your, you have Good to night. dream of your conversations today. Good so night. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Bye. Good evening. Bye.